again, I'm not going to read through that whole list, but they break down into uh, three major areas. <clears throat> You'll find some intoxicant crimes, things like second offense of drunk driving or driving various types of vehicles under the influence, whether it's a snowmobile, off-road vehicle, boat, so forth. Um, I think the philosophy behind those is that if someone's got a problem with intoxication, uh, then perhaps that person should be carrying a gun on their own. <clears throat> the second major group that you're going to find are assaultive crimes, and you'll see things like aggravated assault and domestic assault and that sort of thing. And again, I think the logic behind that is that someone has a problem with their temper to the extent that it's getting, in, getting them into uh, legal trouble, perhaps that person shouldn't be carrying a gun on there. <clears throat> and then finally, you'll find weapons-related crimes. Um, and I, obviously, if someone, in my opinion, uh, has already shown that they can't follow weapons-related re laws, then perhaps they shouldn't be carrying a gun and, and burdened with the responsibilities that come with that. <clears throat> so that 